field of microelectronics has become the field that is driving the latest technology advances. University of Johannesburg has, therefore, identified a need for short learning program entitled Analog and RF Microelectronic Design and Simulation to address this need. Dr. Mladen Boshanish, a senior research fellow, explains. What I'm holding in my hand is an integrated circuit, or what we colloquially call a chip. And this powerful device here could be driving the touchscreen on your cell phone, and yet it's only 2 by 2 millimeters in size. This is this small thing right in the middle. If you completed a degree in electronic engineering, then you probably worked with package devices like this one. But what you might have not done is you haven't looked at how this thing is built. In this SLP, we're going to look at the basic building component of this integrated circuit, which is a transistor. We're going to look at the supporting building components, such as resistors, capacitors and inductors, specifically at elevated or radio frequencies. We're going to look at the technologies that have made building this chip possible. And then we're going to take it one step further. We're going to build some interesting electronic circuits using these transistors. We're going to build amplifiers, such as baseband amplifiers, power amplifiers, learners amplifiers. Then we're going to look at even more advanced circuitry, such as operational amplifiers, mixers, oscillators. If I've actually mentioned something that interests you, then you're probably the right person to enroll to this course. And you can do that from the comfort of, the, of your home because the whole course is presented online.